All right, guys, we're back in, in the shop. Got some new products to talk about, updates on a few things. Um, first, we're still working on the M2C build. I haven't forgotten about it. Sorry, I hadn't got part two out, but I've been really busy with some new products that we're working on with M2C. Plus, I had the opportunity to make a couple of trips to the runway and get some passes in early season. Um, do some testing with some new products. And uh, so I kind of took advantage of that, but we, uh, we're we gonna be home for a bit. So got some new products to talk about and uh, we're gonna get to showing you those. All right, let's get this body out of the way here. All right, guys, the first new product that we're gonna talk about is the new M2C outdrive shafts. CBDs for the front dog bones for the rear talk about each of them just a little bit um, made out of a much higher quality material the front is just a small amount smaller than the factory one to give you a little bit more clearance on that shock but it's made out of a much better material um, going to be a whole lot stronger and they're true you know the the factory arma shafts are uh, a little out of true um, you have to buy several of them. Sometimes you get some that are just absolutely unusual. These are going to be, these are going to be good. They're going to be nice and straight, straight out of the pack. The rear is has a taper in it, so it's a lot stronger, especially in that area in the middle where they tend to be the weakest. And we did a couple other things to these. Let me show you. This is an M2C outdrive cup which are really nice. Um, there's your number if you want to get those. Go along with the shafts. Factory dog bone shaft here. Let's show you the ends here. This is a factory shaft. This is one of the things that we worked on. If you look, this thing's got a lot of side play. You know, it's on the pin, obviously it's not that bad, but it's moving this way, just on this one plane with the pin. So we've tightened that up to make that where it's not, it's got plenty of gap, but it doesn't have all that play. So it's not vibrating around a good bit. With the rear, we also made these three millimeters longer so that, you know, we've always put that piece of fuel tube in, in, the, in the out cup to keep that shaft where it needs to be in the in the cups and with these new dog bones that's unnecessary anymore all right guys i'll try not to wiggle this camera too awful much while i'm showing you this this is a factory axle and you can see it has a lot of movement and when it is all the way one way or another the pin is just about at the end of that cup so it actually creates some wobble by being that far out of that cup it's that way on both ends. We usually put fuel tubing in the ends to stabilize that. Let's see if I can move this over to this side. Now what we've done is eliminated all of that. We added a little bit of length to those axles. The pins sit deep in the cups. You still have movement, so you have some free play, but it keeps that pins well engaged no more fuel tubing and a stronger axle lots of play just enough to make it work so i'm definitely happy to say that the, the steel axles are the first addition to the james mccoy signature series parts line from m2c working with them on some stuff and uh, it's all going to be James McCoy Signature Series. So I'm really excited about that. Um, now we got one more product I want to show you today. And uh, kind of hinted about it, showed it a little bit in, in one of the other videos. It's the new dual M2C motor mount. All right, guys, let's talk about the features on this new motor mount. 58 millimeter can. So you got a 30 millimeter slide. 40 millimeter can, so you got a 25 millimeter slide. 
both 30 and 25 slides come with the kit. Um, one of the things that we were talking about when we started coming up with this motor mount was the difficulty with a duel of setting gear mesh and trying to keep it the same on both sides. So we wanted to do something that was just a little bit easier. And I touched on it a little bit in that first M2C build, uh, the uh, single motor mount, because it has the same style of adjuster. Um, but this is what I was talking about, where it really comes into play with the dual mount. So we've got this adjuster. It snaps right on the top, pushes right on. You're going to set your gear mesh with the one bolt in the top. Only one bolt to start with. So you're going to set that gear mesh wherever you want it at. And then once you get it set, you're just going to come up here and tighten up this one bolt. And this comes right back off. The real cool part about this is when you take this and you go around to the other side all you have to do is slide your motor until it pops in push your adjuster all the way down and then you tighten up this one now you've adjusted both of them with only adjusting the one and that really comes in nice for doing dual. So both sides are the same. Doing quad motor cars, because we know we got a couple of those running around now. And, or you can be like Sean, he's running that three motor car now. So this thing's gonna be really cool because we can adjust one time, flop it over and adjust how many ever motors you got in the car and get that mesh set quick and easy so you spend the time running the car instead of doing that adjustment. I thought that was a really cool way to do it. It makes it nice and quick. And then once you have the adjustment on both sides, um, depending on what gear you have, you can run one bolt more in the top or two. Um, plenty of slide movement with uh, plenty of adjustment for whatever gear you could possibly imagine. And uh, let me show you what comes in the kit. We have the tower, the bearing support tower, the top cap, the two bearing retainers, of course that adjuster, the slides, those are the 30s. And then motor mount with the 25s in it. And I hope you can see through that. James McCoy, M2C. Got my gear logo on it right here and here. That's the James McCoy Signature Edition M2C dual motor mount. Um, looking forward to putting this in a lot of cars. It's going to make things a, little, a lot easier uh, with that adjuster. Especially seeing as how I do have a quad motor car and a lot of dual motor cars. But I want to introduce wanted to introduce the uh you know the new steel shafts. Show the second part of our uh James McCoy signature series edition parts. We got a lot more stuff coming. We're working on all kinds of things, guys. So there's gonna be a whole lot to uh to put on the road. You know, M2C's been known for that off-road stuff, like I said earlier, and you know, they're coming to the road and uh, I'm going to work with them on a lot of stuff. We're going to see what we can come up with um, and uh, come up with some new ideas. Just wanted to introduce that to you. I hope, uh, hope y'all like that. Looking forward to making some passes um, with the M2C car. Make sure um, sometime within a week or so, we're going to finish up the M2C build. I'll have it set up uh, go over uh, the rest of the stuff on that car. Plus, we got the dual car coming. Obviously, you got to see it right here. This is one of them. I'm actually building two of these cars, you know, with the M2C dual motor mounts in it right now. So, we'll have those builds coming up. 
and uh, um, see what we can do. Hope y'all enjoy the new M2C James McCoy Signature Edition motor mount and those new axles and CVDs. Y'all keep watching for some new products. They're going to be coming one at a time, quick as we can get them out. Thanks for watching, guys.